From the athlete winning every competition she enters, to always raising the stakes for her rivals, here's the real reason gymnasts hate competing against Simone Biles. Her rivals know they won't get squat from going up against her, because she's won almost every all-around competition she's been in since the 2014 US Championships. Living under the shadow of someone with so many accomplishments must be awful, meaning all the time and energy you invested in your training is essentially in vain. Whether it's her reaching new career heights or messing up during her routines, the spotlight's always on Simone. And why wouldn't it be when she's the greatest gymnast of all time? With the most medals in the Gymnastics World Championships and the most Olympic medals won by a US gymnast, Biles acknowledged that she usually wins every competition she competes in. She's got seven Olympic medals, of which four are gold, and this is crazy considering the fact she only fully participated in one Olympics event. She withdrew from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics halfway through but still managed to snag a silver and a bronze. Biles won all her gold at the Rio Olympics in 2016, also setting the record for most gold medals by a female gymnast in a single Olympics event. As if this wasn't impressive enough, Rio was her debut Olympics event, and she stole the show by winning three golds individually and one with the US team. Plus, she's not just dominating the Olympics, she's made a name for herself at the World Championships as well, where she holds the record for most medals in the Gymnastics World Championships. She competed in her fifth and last World Championship in 2019, where she brought her tally up to 25 medals making her the most decorated gymnast ever. Out of these 25 medals, a whopping 19 are gold, allowing her to set the record for most gold medals in the Gymnastics World Championships. Plus, Simone's still young, so she can increase that medal count and make sure her name stays in the record books. Simone took a long two-year break between the Tokyo Olympics and the US Classic, the qualifying event for the US Gymnastics Championships so fans were very pleased to see her return. She was facing a lot of pressure after her jaw-dropping performance at the Rio Olympics, and all the anxiety led to a serious case of the twisties, where Simone lost all sense of where she was while she was in the air. Not only was this terrifying for her, it was also super dangerous and could have led to serious injuries. So Simone decided to withdraw from five of her six finals in Tokyo. She only competed in the balance beam, and that too with a modified routine. But all her effort paid off because she walked away with a bronze medal. Since the US Classic is the precursor to the Tokyo Olympics, many fans believe that Simone will compete in the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. This will be her first competition since Tokyo. It's been clear for months that Simone was going to make a comeback. As many athletes shared pictures with her at the gym and even talked about working with her. So, the question wasn't, is Simone coming back? But instead, when is she coming back? And fans finally have their answer. They shouldn't get too ahead of themselves though, because there's no guarantee that Simone will compete in Paris. But it's possible especially because she said it'd be an honor to win a medal in France the country where both her coaches are from. Whether she makes it to Paris or not, one thing's for certain. Her competitors aren't happy she's back because they don't want to go up against the GOAT. Biles recognizes her GOAT status herself as she wears a leotard bedazzled with a rhinestone GOAT to annoy her haters. In an interview with Megan DeTrolio, Beals revealed that the unique design of her leotard was a way to hit back at the haters. She said it wasn't fair how they could keep saying whatever they wanted so she decided to shut them up for good. One hater jokingly said it'd be hilarious if Simone put a goat on her leotard, so she did just that. While it struck a nerve for her haters, it also made her fans happy, so it was a win-win. Even though Simone might have done this in good spirits, it's bound to intimidate her competition because the leotard serves as a reminder that Simone's the greatest of all time. And that's enough to make any competitor nervous. Especially because Simone always walks away with the prize, even if she makes major mistakes, like falling. In her performance at the 2018 World Championships, she fell twice during both vault and balance beams. Yet she walked away with the gold medal, beating her competitor by 1.7 points, which is a huge margin in gymnastics. Simone said she was surprised to hear her name getting called out for gold, but I'm sure her competitors were furious. If this is Simone on one of her worst days, there's no wonder her competitors hate going up against her because she's unstoppable, even with deductions. 
Plus, back in 2015, when Biles was competing at the World Gymnastics Championships, she managed to get the gold medal despite messing up three times. First, she wobbled on the beam and nearly toppled off after a forward flip. Then, during the vault, she took a giant hop forward after landing. As if that wasn't enough, she even messed up the floor exercise when she put one foot on the red boundary. Despite messing up so many times, Simone still beat her competitor, Gabby Douglas, by 1.9 points on the combined total of scores. As a result, she made history by being the first woman to win three straight all-around titles at the World Championships. The reason Simone always gets the edge is because her routines are so difficult that even if she messes up a couple times, she still comes out as the more impressive athlete. Still, Simone was surprised that she managed to win gold despite her errors and with her personal largest margin of victory. However, this makes sense as well, since she is accustomed to being flawless and believes that even the smallest mistakes will ruin everything. 2019 saw Biles make an appearance on Good Morning Britain prior to her Superstars of Gymnastics performance. Host Piers Morgan pointed out how Biles is so self-critical, which is what helps her achieve every victory. And Simone admitted that it was true. She said that even if she won, at the end of the event, she'd sit and think about things that didn't go her way because she was always striving for perfection. After all, it's Simone's ability to constantly improve herself that's made her the best gymnast out there. Still, I'm sure her competitors are rolling their eyes when they hear Simone isn't happy, even with a gold medal. Simone had previously talked about how she wasn't happy about winning the world championship because she fell twice and didn't feel it was her best performance. She's not being ungrateful though, she just has a different valuation of success and she doesn't compare herself to other people. She wants to be the best version of herself, which is why she was happiest about getting a bronze medal, because it was the hardest to get, even if others saw it as inferior to her gold ones. But I'm sure many of Simone's competitors wouldn't agree with her and would sell their souls to get the gold that she's so laid back about. But anytime they get close to Simone's level, she keeps raising the bar and gets better and better, performing stunts no one else would dare to. In May 2021, a couple of months before the Tokyo Olympics, Biles became the first female gymnast to perform the Yurchenko double pike. The 24-year-old left everyone stunned at the US Classic as she nailed a routine so complex and dangerous that no other woman had even attempted it before. The Yurchenko double pike involved Simone launching herself into a round-off back handspring onto the vaulting table, from where she propelled herself high enough to flip twice in the pike position before landing on her feet. I know it sounds super complex and confusing, and that's because it is, but Simone made it look so easy. Many fans pointed out that Simone didn't need to take such a big risk to continue winning, especially with the Olympics ahead, because she could have seriously hurt her ankle if she messed up the landing. But Simone proved that she's always looking to push herself and set new records, and I'm sure her competitors are ticked off because she's always making it harder for them to catch up. So, from her continuously raising the bar for her competition to the athlete winning every competition she enters, here are the real reasons gymnasts hate competing against Simone Biles.